This playthrough is rated M for Mature. Time to find out if Silver Tongues actually do exist. Greetings and salutations, viewers. While we're back here with another episode of Shadowrun Hong Kong. In the last episode, we went through Prosperity Tower to find our foster father, and we got through a bit of it, doing some work for a couple of suits and uh, trying to find some security information. And well, let's see if we can get past these guys. Now, this room, basically, unless you have Charisma 7, you're basically not going to get in here. So if you don't care for the achievement, you can get the information you can from another, another floor. Um, or you can fight them as well, but in this case I have the charisma so I can say heard you need a level 5 tune-up We've got all the parts in but there are other departments on the waiting list We can skip you for now, but I'll have to put this station back on the bottom of the list. Oh, yeah, and he says what are you doing here? We didn't call for maintenance His back stiffens. Oh, there's no need for that. Please come in if you could start with that desk in the back We'd be awfully grateful then I'll get to work. As maintenance, I'll need access to the security terminal should take about an, uh, an hour for full installation Don't wait up our terminal? Well, if you have to, but make it quick. We got a lot of sensitive material in here. Don't worry. We won't do anything sensitive as we log in. Yep, have Isabel or whoever your deck is come in. Let's see if we can try to not to get caught, but probably will, just because of my luck, you know, with how things go. Alright, let's see. There's. Try going this way. I have to be careful. Okay. Yeah, not too hard. You just have to be able to use the uh, stuff behind. Right, let's head over there. Okay. Yeah, we got a. Let's see, a couple of ices. So let's uh, sniff ourselves. So I can actually hit these guys. And it's still not the best. Maybe I should move closer. Yeah, I think I should be okay as long as I'm behind this. So. Okay, good. I'm in a good spot, so... Ow. Alright, let's see. Now that's what you do with the bomb thing, since the, since the trace thing, uh, since this thing isn't, uh, the Watcher IC isn't here, so... We're in the area. Oh, by the way, if you do have the Watcher IC in, like, and you do, like, one of those area of attacks, it will notice you, obviously. Alright, nice. And luckily the game pauses if you have to, uh, um, after combat so you don't get caught, whatever, so. Alright, let's, uh, yeah, let's, let's do the, let's do the number game. I mean, if I was really good, I could probably do this within the, just getting the first pass, but. I'm just making sure, like, you know, if I make any mistakes. You know, then I, I have a backup. Oops. Eh, we could start. Let's see. Uh, let's see. There we go. Yeah, if you know what you're doing, you can kind of, you can get within one or two, but I, I always like having a backup just in case something happens. The captain of the station has pre-approved a limit of releasing of Laboratory 12's elevator code to Omega personnel. Receipt of this message is proof of your authorization. Warning, this information is highly sensitive and should remain restricted to Omega plus knowledge only. Violators will experience the aforementioned blacklisting and company purging. A list of digital conversations that have been sent from the floor appear. One in particular, an exchange between a senior executive and employee in accounting looks promising. Let's read it. Data store passcode request, Lee Shen to Magical Research. I was informed that you're the best person to contact regarding the passcodes for the Magical Research Center. As a new recruit to the accounting team, and with security being so tight, I like access to the center's files that are necessary to perform my biannual accounting report. I'd appreciate it if you'd send me the codes by EOD today, Shanley Accounting. Read data store from um, to Shanley. No. What you're asking is extremely unorthodox and in blatant disregard of company protocol. My dis uh, department is under continent scrutiny and I can't afford a leak. You'll have to go through the proper channels and fill out the required paperwork if you want the passcodes. Mei Lin Zhao, Vice President of Magical Research. Repeat, uh, Miss Lin Zhao, allow me to rephrase my earlier request. You send me the passcodes and I'll review the Magical Research Center's finances. I heard that your lab's been hemorrhaging funds this last quarter. Perhaps I could massage those numbers to make the lab appear more monetarily efficient? Shanley. Uh, to Shanley, attach to the passcodes from our department's core system terminal. You will access the system only under my direct supervision. <laughs> yep. 
I can help you out. Scratch my back. I scratch your back and you scratch mine. Whatever. Anyway. Anyway, we got the codes for the part of the codes for the Lab 12. So let's go down this way. We should get attacked by a couple of ice. Yep. Anyway, can I hide behind that and be fine? Let's see. Yeah, white sparkly. It's sparkly time! Nice, I hit. Eh, let's see, do I have this? I still have the sniffer on. But. Okay, good. I'm glad it misses. I'm glad the ricochet misses the. Uh, misses that. Wait, did he even attack me? Or? I think there's another ice in here, if I recall. Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, probably need to sniff again a bit. Awesome. You should finish him off. This one's pretty straightforward, too. It's just a, basically just a... Um, there's only one of them. It's just a standard square formation, so... All right, let's hack it. I'll do a couple of these and then maybe try to just go, go for it. Yeah, let's try this as is. I was about to say, it's got to be that one. Alright. Now we got the second one. You hack the node and the now vulnerable network is quickly infected by spoof programs. Within a matter of seconds, the program spread across the system and spent sending false security alarms throughout Sang. The security network is slowly compromised. A few guards catch wind of the alarms and begin to investigate the cause, but the false alarms direct them to dead locations. Awesome. Alright, let's... Uh, Go past this guy as quickly as we can, hopefully. No, no problems? Alright, awesome. Let's see if we can actually get out without actually running into these this time. Let's see, let's follow after this guy. Yeah. No, oh, that uh, might not be. Uh, will I get hit? No, okay, cool. Sometimes I forget, like, exactly every single variation on, like, where you can stand, so. Alright, let's get out of here. We got the codes that we need. And since we passed all our uh, um, checks, we don't have to worry about fighting any of these guys. So, all right, let's head to the 449 to get the other bit of information, so we can get the achievement. It should auto save here. Yep. All right. All right. Sorry about the little edit there. Had a little behind the scenes snafu, but <laughs> apparently my character did too because he T posed in. So anyway, let's uh, explore 449. Whoa, whoa, slow down there. This is a restricted area. I'll need to see your ID. Now, you could give them all these options, but unfortunately, unless you have Charisma 6, you're not getting in here without a fight. So, since I have Charisma 6, I'm going to say, calm down. I'm for maintenance. Just here to replace some lights. It's not like I stole this uniform or something, now if you don't mind. His uncertainty turns into a bearish chuckle. Yeah, you're right. Between you and me, something inside security can be a little overkill around here. Anyone will hold you up. Good luck. All right. So it's, uh, that's all you have to do to get past them. Like I said, if you don't, then you have to fight a, uh, just, I don't think any of them are mages, so it's standard enforcers, so don't worry about it if you, they might get the jump on you, but, you know, what's this? No, a keypad, but we don't have the code for it, so let's walk away. Containment lab, huh? Or what they're containing. Eh, yeah, probably nothing. Danger, use, do not enter. Oh, okay. I will not, then. Well, what's he then? Security, Okay. How about this door key? Uh, data door lock, lock looks like it's recently upgraded with a key card scanner. Hmm. Can't get in there, so we need a key card scanner or some way to open it. What's this? Alright, this is the lab. And finally... Uh, let's see. VP of Thermatological Research. Oh, okay. Oh, there's a couple of items we can grab, but if we grab them while she's here, oh, we also got an access terminal. But yeah, if we grab them while she's uh, <coughs> while she's there, she'll call security on us. So, the vice president spares you a glance from over the top of her PDA. There's a bite to her voice. Who are you, maintenance ma'am? What do you want? Just doing a routine checkup. How are things? Lights, airflow, power supply. Everything's fine. Now get out before I call security. But I'm maintenance though. Uh, sorry, I'll let you get back to your work. Yeah, there's nothing you... Unfortunately, there's nothing you can do. She 
uh, you can't charisma her out of this, so we'll have to find another way to access that stuff. As far as I'm aware of, I think you have to do a fight on this fort if you want to grab all the stuff. Um, so that will happen, but I'll try to keep it to a minimum. Anyway, let's talk to this guy. Maybe he'll be more amiable than the uh, vice president, but he might be too amiable. We'll see, though. You overhear a masked man in a lab coat mumbling to himself. After a moment, he realizes that he's narrating his actions. With a flash of his pen, he approves the un incoming lab expenses. Science shall not suffer at the hands of a miserly department heads. No, not on his watch. Such fiery acumen, such daring. He runs a hand through his luscious locks of stubble. The woman swoons. The men swoon. He is a metahuman. He's last. He hope. You gotta be kidding me. His shoulders stiffen in surprise. He makes a small sound, then looks at you. You can tell. You can't tell if he's angry or embarrassed. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, yes, uh, how long have you been there? Actually, never mind. You're here to fix something? Uh, so, if you don't have Charisma 6, another case of unless something happens, you're not going to pass this next section So without violence or something like that. So, uh, just found out we've got the budget to make some upgrades. So I'm checking in to see if your station needs any modification or equipment installations. Look, I do very delicate, complicated work here. The last thing I need is a bunch of bumbling maintenance slubs just jeopardizing my work. So we have three options here. If you don't get these three options, you're not going to be able to utilize this as well. So yeah, you, this this floor, this level seems to uh, utilize a lot of charisma and etiquette stuff, mainly charisma for the most part, but without fighting or reducing fighting or anyone. But you can do conjuring, spell casting, or academic, which I'll say. Hey, I get it. Judging by your equipment, it looks like you're exploring the effects that extraplanar beings extend on our realm, with a focus on investigating their energy sources. Not something you want bungle, bumbling custodians to interfere with. You you can see all that? His baffled expression quickly morphs into one of ecstatic delight. No one else gets it. How crucial this project is. It's been so long since I've met anyone who understands my work here. I don't know where to begin. It's genius, really. Well, I invented it, so I'm the genius, but the contraption itself is nothing sort of spectacular. It uses advanced sonar in layman's terms. Etch out an image of an astral plane, but instead of refracting all the physical objects, it reflects off of magical energies. Now, if you don't want to listen to this guy, you can end the conversation early. However, it won't give me the result I want, so avoid the third option at any time. Uh, but you can do, I think you can do the first and second one interchangeably, it'd be fine, but to make, make things safe, I'll just choose the top option, which is the nicer one, so... Uh, interesting. I know you're thinking, but why are you digging around in astral space, Wendell? Unfortunately, I'm not at liberty to discuss those details with you. I'm entrusted with a task, and I take my job very seriously. Is that right? I know I can see the disappointment in your face. I suppose I could at least tell you where I store the information. The sonar scans are also cleverly transcribed into a separate terminal that is constantly updating the results. This technique allows me to paint a picture of an abstract space. Revolutionary. Wouldn't you agree? Yes, of course you do. You understand. <laughs> That mask doesn't stop the stench of crap pouring from you. I need to get away, far away from here as, as I can. Nah, I'm not going to choose that, but it's funny. Uh, I guess. I am sure you're wondering how I use this data to discern energies of value from nugatory ones inside astral space. Well, it actually relates to my sonar system. A minor adjustment that I made to its sound wave feature refines the oscillating signal and in turn alters my research. As the sound per uh, percolates through the other planes, only energies of substantial magical strength provide enough resistance to the signals to refract information back to my terminal. <laughs> I like the, I always like the third options on this, like, man, shut the fuck up. Huh? He leans in and his voice drops. To be perfectly honest, I actually got the idea from a video game, Magic of Evermore, The Awakening. It was incredibly popular a decade ago. Have you played it? I played The Secret of Evermore. I like that one. It was, it was a spinoff of the Legend of Mana series. The only game, uh, was it Square of America ever made, I think? Because Squaresoft used to have a company in America, but only made one game, which is Secret of Evermore. And unfortunately, it didn't sell well enough to uh, uh, keep the company around, so it just stuck to its Jap Japan branch or whatever, which is kind of sad. Like I said, I like the game. It's not perfect, but I, I'll have to play it one of these days. Um, no, that doesn't matter. You don't have to have played it. You already get it. We're kindred spirits, you and I. Just like the Bolgar the Great and his pox-faced friend, Pukok. Oh, man, this reminds me of some D&D conversations I didn't want to have. Are you deficient? All I'm hearing is a shit ton of word vomit. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, tell me more. Well, one part of Mena's battle system involved an otherworldly uh, other world where the fights took place in complete darkness. You had to do a sweep attack with your ringing axe to see the opponents. The audible attack would pass through lesser objects, but not the active energies of your enemies. The gameplay was crap, but the concept was there. And one day on my 239th playthrough, I realized that its mechanics could be applied to actual real-world systems. It was plausible! I don't think I've ever played a game that many times. Uh, even the games I really, really liked. You know, like Mario and stuff like that back in the day. <laughs> Sorry, what was that? I wasn't listening. No, don't tell me. I don't give a damn. Out of here. No. Uh, imagine that. 
I don't want to brag, but there's no other scientist in astral, into astral research who would accomplish what I've done. Built from the ground up myself, I named this sonar system BALS, Bridge, Bridged Astral to Widow Document Sonar, after Menace Hero, Bulgar. He smiled wide, uh, his smiles wide, looking thoroughly pleased with himself. Nerd, see you later, never loser. No, you must be very proud. I feel like I could talk to you about anything. You know, I rarely had that growing up. Everyone was so impatient with me, I can't imagine why. Obviously, I was a child prodigy. I never grew my genius, but that didn't seem to make a difference to my parents, classmates, or teachers. No one wanted to talk to me. When I finally got to university, the frat boys were so intensely jealous of my success, they used to bully me. One in particular harassed me mercilessly with names like Wind, Dull, and Vomit Voice. A tear glistens in the corner of his eye. He turns his head to the sh side and shouts into his shoulder. Damn you, Trad Brunswick. You know I started wearing this mask soon after I graduated, which I did early. I'm sure you've guessed, so people will still think will think I'm sick and friendlier. And be friendlier. But even if they start out friendly, the second I open my mouth, they shrink away. I know it's my intellect. It intimidates people. I just wish I could see past that. See me, like you do. Feigning disability so people will be nice to you? You're disgusting. I don't believe it. No. Um, <laughs> your voice is killing me. I physically hurt. Stop, please. No. Yeah. You know, someone with your sharp judgment could easily rise to the ranks here, especially with my recommendation. Uh, that's generous of you. Give it some thought. He cautiously glances over his shoulder. I really shouldn't be doing this, but I like you. So if you promise me, promise me that you won't tell anyone, I'll give you the code to our containment chamber. We have the astral jackpot in there. It'll blow your mind, but I'd be seriously breaking company ordinance, so I promise, Wendell. He nods excitedly, mass bobbing up and down. Well, don't let anyone see you enter, all right? And with that, with listening to his word vomit story, we can now enter the containment area. But why would we want to do that? Let's find out. Uh, other than that, the only other way to get in, uh, to get into that security room is basically just mess with the uh, VP lady, and she'll call security and they'll open the doors. So anyway, let's enter the code, which is I think it was a one nine. Oops. Uh, oops. Yeah, one nine one five. Oh. <laughs> All right, I'll just. There we go. All right, nearly, nearly soundlessly, the door slides open. All right, let's see what's in here. Now let's check this. What does this say? You rifle through the console. A few interesting folders catch your eye. Research journal. Most of the entries are dated, containing information on the various experiments performed on Seng's subject, but one stands out, a newer entry regarding the health of the subject, which appears unnamed. For unknown reasons, it's getting sicker and sicker. No man of Seng's efforts have been able to reverse the ailment. Hmm, I wonder who they're talking about. Containment Breach Response Plan The response plan is several pages in length, but the summary at the top provides enough information to understand the remaining content. Should a breach occur, all containment doors will close and the emergency door will be routed to the terminal. Additionally, if the subject escapes this floor, a rapid response unit is on call for immediate uh, for immediate floor deployment. What? <laughs> Alright, anyway. Uh, let's look at the lab controls. Within the folders is a list of commands. Let's open the shutters. Whoa, what the? With a metallic grind, the shutters open to reveal a massive, nightmarish beast. Yet despite its daunting size and presence, its body is wasting away. It looks sickly, frail. For once, strong limbs hangs loose flesh, with eyes sunken into its gaunt face. A thin fluid drips from its eyes and nose, into its mouth, and off its chin. If you need clear eyes, get clear eyes. Around the cell are small puddles of the same substance, some even splattered across the walls, a putrid poison. Let's open the containment. Warning level blue. Unsealing the holding chamber will allow detained subjects to pass through the containment barrier. Do you wish to proceed? Yes. Warning level green. Subjects may be hostile to surrounding environment and organisms. Do you wish to proceed? Yes. Warning level yellow. Subjects may incur massive financial and lethal damages, emergency measures notwithstanding. Do you wish to proceed? Yes. Warning level red. Secondary seal has been released. Containment door 2 is open. Locking down floor entrances and exits. Activating emergency plan vermilion. Emergency door override is now available. Advisory. Releasing the primary seal will open containment door 1. All efforts should be made to contain subject. So if you do that, the primary seal it basically opens the elevator door and he just leaves. And the guards just go, what the hell? You know. But if you want to open up the uh, um, the security doors to actually fight this thing, we need to send them into the lab. At least I, uh, I, I, it's been forever since I've sent them into the head of research, but I don't think that actually does anything. Um, you have to send them into the lab to get the security on them. So, all right, let's see what happens. But anyway, we get a karma for uh, releasing the creature, for releasing the beast. Release, I think he released the beast all over the back of this guy's head. Goodbye, nerd. Yeah, we sent him in the nerd's room. Hey, the door opened. All right. 
So let's uh let's go in there and get get our information, shall we? I don't think there's actually anything in this room other than the creature. Yeah, I didn't think so. But yeah, by sending him in there, he's a uh, uh, the security guy is dealing with the plant like thingy. All right, ooh, got a keep out here. What's this? Uh, we don't have the code for it. Well, we'll uh, let's see if we get some information from this jack endpoint, and then we'll go from there. Yep, jacking it again. All right, let's uh. All right, what do we got here? Oh, that one's fast. Oh boy, uh, this one might be a bit difficult for me. Okay, that one goes backwards, so all we have to do is get into this spot here. Yeah, okay. Let me see if I can follow this. Nope, 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 nope. I went too slow. Nope, come on, faster, faster, faster. Okay, luckily this guy turns. Oh, whoops. Dang it. All right, well, fine. Uh, 74. I hate, I hate uh, uh, how, she, how she has such a low uh, percentage to hit. every single person out here. Oh, crap. I, hmm. Well, luckily I can still hit myself. Yeah, I hit myself with my own attack. Whoops. Now I'll heal myself next turn. All right, let's go in here. Now we got a couple of vice programs. Yeah, I'll have to... I have to heal myself because I, I accidentally, I accidentally threw that bomb at myself. So, whoops. Yeah, I'll do. Well, I wanted to move to the hiding location, but for some reason, it wouldn't let me, uh, wouldn't let me move there. I don't know why. I guess it's buggy. Sometimes the matrix sections in these games are can be a little bit wonky. I'm not surprised I hit that because it said it was like a 67% or something to hit him. Right, can I heal myself again? No, not yet. Ninety-two percent. I missed. Seriously? I, I like. <laughs> what's up with this game and like making me miss at such good percentages? I know that means I can still miss, but the thing is, it's such a high percentage that sh that shouldn't be the case. All right. Anyway, our host, our host, uh, system trace is pretty high though. We have to be careful. Actually, I think at this point. Oh wait, no, I got one more computer. So nope, not gonna, not gonna let myself get caught on purpose or whatever. I'll do a couple of these just to get these. Like I said. Before. Oh, whoops! Uh, oh, crap. Uh, no, okay, it's not that one. Shoot. Yeah, I have to do this a couple times. Got to screw it up just to get myself some time. <laughs> I'll do one more. Oh, whoops! Man, that's probably fine though. There we go. I messed up too many times there. Oof. All right, let's get the data store here. 
A bulletin board dedicated to this forest faulty pops up. Fault facility pops up. Several mundane topics are posted, but one titled Attention seems more promising than the others. An initial glance reveals that the four has acquired new gear of some sort. It post. Attention! Our security staff has been allocated extra gear to assist in the containment of our high priority test subjects. Effective immediately, all gear assigned to this force patrol is to remain on this floor. No more lending or borrowing the other station staff. To ensure that others do not take our property, we changed the code door to the equipment room, which is now 8974. This code is not to be shared with outside our department. Now, is it that one room we couldn't get into before? But anyway, Captain Co. Low Count Kang, so. But yeah, that allows us to go into a room we couldn't access before. Because now we have the code. That's why we went in here. Alright, let's go check this one. Uh, security, no, this way we're, we are even hoping you find what you're looking for. Okay. Anyway, yeah, we got more uh, ice programs. I mean, we, they're all ice programs, but, you know, aggressive ice programs, if that makes sense. Do I still the buffer? I'm going to take one at a time. As long as I'm hitting every turn, which I should be, but still. Get closer so I can actually hit you properly. Yep, still at 97%, which means possible miss, because you know, the game hates me. Although I think they're, her regular attack's pretty low, if I recall, so that kind of makes it. Wait, where are you going? Yeah, okay. Now I can't even see you. Eighty percent still pretty good, you know. You know that right game. Just, just give me a heads up that that's pretty good. A good thing I have a. I just hate missing when the. Like I said, I, I know I'm repeating myself like a clock, but still. Uh, yeah, I don't wanna... it should be out of range actually. Oh nope, I must have missed. So it's taking longer because he moved too far away. There we go. Just need to get to that other station. Station! Of course, I went this back way and I'm going to have to... But yeah, there's a way to just ignore them soon. Yeah, that should be good. All right. Uh, let's see. Yeah, pretty close. So we'll. Maybe do one more. Took me a second. All right, let's uh, see what this thing has. You hacked the node and the vulnerable network as quickly uh, when we got all the um, objectives unlocked. Uh, you hacked the node and the vulnerable network is quickly infected by spoof programs. Within a matter of seconds, the programs spread across the system, sending false security alarms throughout the thing. With the security network completely compromised, guards flood the communications channel with response calls, unable to locate where the alarms are coming from. Your whereabouts remain unnoticed amidst the pandemonium. So, all right, we're good there. Never for that to turn around. Wee! All right, let's get out of here. How did I end up destroying the one that went this way? Yeah, I guess so. Whoa! No! 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 Wasn't uh, almost got. Oh no! Come on, man. Ah, oh, well, I'll just. I'll just, I'll just log out. Alright, now let's uh, use this keypad here. 
which is the let's see eight nine seven four all right here's uh the door slides open what do we get Ooh, we get a lot of stuff here all right we can get a remington 990 smart link i could give that to uh, duncan for now Oh, that's right. It's a smart link. That means you have to have a um, data jack to actually use it because it's a smart gun, basically. So, all right, we'll uh, stash it because I don't. Gaba doesn't have one either. So, never mind. Let me just uh, take it. We can sell it later. Yeah, stash the thing. Then we get a sterile AUG CSL uh, rifle. So we'll manage that. We'll give that to Duncan, even though I think his rifle is better, but. We'll still take it anyway. Then we also get a Renraku flashbang grenade. Uh, yeah, hold on. Yeah, we'll. Uh, yeah, we'll give it to Isabel. Why not? Oh, we get another. That's right. We get it. Oops. Yeah. Well, since we gave her all that room. Yeah. We also get a phosphorus grenade. There we go. And finally, we get a. Uh, advanced med kit. We'll take that. And we get another advanced med kit. We'll take that. And we get a dock wagon gold trauma. We'll give that to her. Alright, yeah, we get quite a few things for doing that. Yeah, with the security as a deal with the, uh, um, oh, they, and they beat the creature too, so, yeah. jack in here because yeah this is pretty much a case where there's not much i can do about about the lady she's just gonna catch us anyway so yeah see as soon as we yeah see what the hell security because i want i want those items so I guess if I didn't want those items or whatever, then ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, no, no throw grenades on me anymore. Yeah, you're just gonna run away, so. All right, we'll let her do her thing, so. Programs activated there. Nah, I was hoping I'd finish you off. Now let's check our directions here. Yeah, okay, we got this uh, core system here. Let's uh, let's see. Hack it. I was making rookie mistakes there. Like, luckily you get a, quite a few tries to do that if you... Now, let's hack this thing. A small data archive node springs to life. It appears to be a, a set of mails tagged to a uh, reinitialized data center. The data center is labeled Special Projects. Read the mails. From Josephine Sane to David Yu's progress report. Dr. Yu, as I expressed in person, the assist base, uh, based security project is an uh, accelerated timetable. As such, I require regular updates to track progress. What is the status of the device? JT, continue reading. 
From David Yu to Josephine Singh, repro uh, progress report. Miss Singh, please forgive my lack of proactive communication. I have been working around the clock to meet your timetable and was ignoring my mail in order to focus on the task. Lab 12 has already been refitted to support the assist program a project and I have several noted experts on more memory modification con contracted. The security project is ahead of schedule and despite the timing concerns that I articulated in our initial conversation, I must stress, however, that even though we are ahead of schedule, the operation's probability of success is low. I just wish to set the appropriate level of expectations. Best regards, David Yu. David Reedy. Zhang to you, progress report. I am pleased that you're ahead of schedule, Mr. Yu, but let us be clear. My expectations are already set. I expect success. Uh, re response, Miss Sang. There were there there were were this a simple memory wipe or even a straight replacement, i.g., swapping one discrete memory for another. My confidence would be quite high. The technology and techniques are mature as well as and well documented. The process of replacing a seminal event in a subject's timeline and then revisiting it, its myriad downstream memories, is daunting work even in an open-ended time frame. Given the duration of the task, I cannot in good conscience predict higher than a slim probability of success. David, you continue reading. Response. Deal with the seminal event with the proscribed timetable, Edward. Edward is 65, but the downstream memories appear contradictory or confusing. We will treat him for a medical condition linked to his senility while we work the bugs out. Response. Yes, madam. All right. Finally, let's go over to the other computer. Yeah, luckily no uh, data moving around. We just have to... Uh, you know, hack the thing, so. for a second. All right, this is program. Only a small quantity of data resides here. The file header says something about a shutdown procedure for Lab 12, but it's bogged down in technical terms and code names that make understanding the contents of the file difficult. However, one data block clearly contains a few passphrases. Huh. But yeah, with uh, that information, with getting all that, that should get you the achievement for um, hacking everything in the... Uh, um, computers so and luckily we're still in our same turn all right let's uh yeah i don't know why the door closed in between that but whatever all right oh well, you are close to pretty close together so That's a good chance for a ball of lightning, so. Actually, I could, uh. Let's see. Yeah, I could use some dew on, uh, on one of these guys. Let's see, we got the grenader and the guard. Let's do that on you. Since you are, uh. Uh, since you're stunned, you can do it pretty much instantly. The only problem is now, you know, we can't, uh, um, let's see. So I wonder if we, maybe we could get that, oh, that's a pretty, uh, let's see if I can try to maybe mark him, maybe get, make it easier to beam back him if I can. Um, ah. Uh, let's see, can you hit Actually, I wonder if I could try it in with a stun, a stun thing. Ha! Huh. All right, nice. Uh, unfortunately, they're too close together to use uh, my um, grenade launcher. Yeah, see, the problem with the problem with the method I do is that basically I'm making them all come at me at once. But uh, let's see. 
you're on the open, so. Crit time for you, baby. See if I can hit you with a uh, mark. You again? Man, I just can't hit these guys today with with the marks. I think there's an achievement for marking people with with her. Well, just that with that ability, I believe. No, that's not. I don't hit basically. Until next turn and uh, subdue him again. Nah, we can just finish him off. That'd be good. All right. Now, if we take these guys, we can get. Yeah, we can get the security card for it. So we didn't actually need that because we killed them. So, all right. Let's take these spell books here. Yeah, they're spell books. Um, all right, we get strip armor. So let's manage that and uh, get rid of our old one stash the old one and finally let's get this item here life siphon and uh, let's see let's swap out mana ball since I'm like really not using that so I mean that might change for the final bits but yeah I haven't really been utilizing it because I've been trying to save my money and a lot of times at least on normal and easy mode it's not a big deal so all right, we've got all the information we need, so now we can head on down to the bottom floor. And there's that, whoops, I didn't mean to hit that again. <laughs> My bad. Uh, sorry, I want to hit the numerical code. So, okay, so the code for lab access is, ooh, we've got some information. See this, uh, uh, I forgot to mention this before, but it, it tells you when you get the access information, but we've got some information. Dust, dawn, night, and moon has some uh, information, as well as some other stuff. Uh, but I want, let's see, 4452. All right, and then we need to add the second code, because yeah, this one requires two codes to get into. So the other one is, I wish they put them together, but whatever. 25301. Verifying. Sequence accepted. Access to special projects granted. Please have your Omega ID ready and check in. And then on the elevator. Oh, see. Now, and now we can actually go to Lab 12, which is where we want to go. And yeah, entering special projects will alert the rapid response squad. There will be no turning back. Well, this is it. This heads on to Raymond Black, Edward Sang, and our foster father. What awaits us is a condition. Is he all pro perfectly practically perfect in any, every way or is he still the the despot we always thought he was we'll find out next time in the next episode of Shadowrun Hong Kong thanks for watching hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time